All right, I've got an iPad Mini 1 here with no power. Um, iPad Mini 1 because there's no row of resistors there. So it looks like this digitizer connector has been replaced before. I don't even know by who. Because I think we do all the board level repairs for these people. So, um, so anyways, I'm going to plug it in and see what we get here. All right, we get 0 0.3, 0 0.4. You know, it looks like it's going. 1.39, okay. So let's 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 uh, plug in the digitizer and uh, the LCD here, and let's see what we get. Looks like it's charging actually. Uh, IP connector. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know what? Forget this, man. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, this this connector looks mangled here, so I think I'm gonna have to touch that up for sure. Well, looks like it's okay. I'll just double check it. Nothing's missing or anything. That's a little bit loose, loose. All right, so we'll touch this up for them. But this is not the underlying problem because there's no display at this point. But it looks like it does look like it's charging, so. Uh, so let's take a look under the shield here and uh, see if we can find anything. All right, so under shield, backlight filter here looks good, and then this looks bad right here. Yeah, that looks burnt. I I don't even know if you can tell it tell or not, but that is definitely burnt right there. So let's see. All right, can you tell from this thing? Okay, look at that one, and then look at look at that one. See, see how it's shiny on the ends, and that's like all dull. If you're looking under a microscope, you can see a lot better, but that that is clearly busted. And uh, if you really want to confirm, what you can do is just use a multimeter, and it looks like a filter, so there should be continuity across it. And we'll just do that anyways. All right, all right. I'm gonna do the continuity mode. It's gonna beep if there's continuity, and it won't beep if there's no continuity. All right, so I'll just pop it. I know what the answer is gonna be. No beep. All right, so that's that's a bad filter there. Let's just go ahead and replace that. And you know what? See if we can figure out what it is. L two two zero one. L two two zero one is this. Okay, so this is main LCD connector V C L C D switch. So this power looks like this powers the L C D. Alright. So that that would make sense. So this is actually a one point let's see, what is it? One point five amp hundred and twenty ohm uh filter. So it looks like a 0402 it looks like maybe so maybe we can use the same backlight filter of that let me take a look let me just double check here to make sure that this is 1.5 amps but uh, I'm pretty sure it is one point five amps okay so it looks like you know for all these iPads like the there's a big LCD filter that is common amongst all these iPads, and uh, it's no different for the iPad Mini 1, actually. So this goes all the way to the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, those two big filters that you see that sometimes get get brown but never blown. It's the same thing. Uh, it's the same filter. So, so that's what we're going to use to replace this. So, oh, did I just jack up the one next to it? No, I didn't. Did I? Was there something next to it or no? I don't even know if there was. I don't see any component, but that's just definitely jacked. Let's just get rid of it. 
And I gotta go back to the tape now because I don't know if there's something next to it or not. Uh, anyways, let's just tin these. I don't know if there's something there or not, man. Okay. Uh, reach this without making a big spectacle out of it. There you go. Actually, it's not even the right pad. This pad. Yep, looks good. So, let me just go back to the tape and see if there's anything next to it or not. Because if there was something next to it, I'll have to replace it. Eh, maybe there wasn't anything next to it, because I see three other pads that are, have nothing there, so. And, uh, if it is the slodge, it, sh it should still be there, because I didn't take anything else out. So, let me just rewind it real quick. Alright, so let's just clean this. So, there's nothing there. Uh, I just looked at the tape. Uh, let's just clean this up. IPA. Clean up all the old flux. And let's just make sure that we're getting a reading here now. Um, so, I'm just going to go like this. 0 0.58. 0 0.58 is good to go. And then let's just go back down here and let's put my shield back on first. Let's go back down here and let's touch up this digitizer connector because it looks a little bit not good. I don't think we fixed this. I don't think we fixed this. It must have been their previous company that they were sending stuff to. Um, this is not great right here. Definitely not a good job. I'm just going to touch up these connectors to make sure they don't have any problems with it afterwards, you know. I think that's good because we don't want these things come back to us at all costs. Maybe we did it, who knows?
Alright. Alright. iPad Mini 1. No display. Oh, okay. Ouch. Alright, so you can see the battery charging symbol. Well, maybe you can't see it because it's a little dirty, but. See it? There you go. Battery charging symbol is there. Pretty sure that this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to call this a day on this one, alright? Uh, but I'll, I'll test it after I get it powered up. But for this video, it's done. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our videos. Just wanted to let you know that we have an online course out there. Um, it is a comprehensive course which covers everything from uh, understanding components all the way to data recovery. And in between that, we have a ZXW Tools course and um, uh, three of the most common repairs backlight, touch, charge. So we actually created a course. It's three and a half hours of content, and it's the full curriculum. It's four courses combined into one. We've added sections on there, bonus sections, to show you how to set up your hot air station, your soldering iron, and um, in your DC power supply. And, and we're going to be adding stuff uh, probably just about every week here to this course. Um, the course is 150 bucks. We host it at Udemy.com. If you want to buy it. Uh, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then click on microsoldering the full curriculum. Thanks for watching.